What's going on, Collective? It's your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big, big, big shout out to anybody's birthday that's today because it's my birthday. And I'm coming through with a nice little reading. Your girl just went and got her nails done. Don't they look pretty? Yeah. <laughs> I went to go love on myself because it is love day. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay. I'm here at um, Martin with um, Cole. Not Cole. What's homeboy named the tour one? Damn, I forgot his name. That's sad. Don't tell nobody. Um, and he was like, you know, if, if it was somebody's birthday, he would be like, happy birth, not happy birthday, like happy Friday, dog. <laughs> like he used to always say dog at the end. Um, y'all put it in the comments. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the tour one. I know Cole, I know Martin, and damn, I forgot his name. All right, y'all. Ancestors of a highest good and light. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the love, the clarity, the downloads. Thank you for this protection over me and the collective that is watching as above, so below. Let's go. All right. So the first thing that we got out here is transformation. If your birthday was on March 13th as well, shout out to you too. Okay. All my Pisces shout out to you, but it's the reason I say that because my daughter's birthday, she just turned 27 and her birthday was on the 13th and my birthday's today. So, you know, I'm shouting you guys out too to recognize that, that, that those two days are very special to me in the month of March. Okay. So we have transformation and we have balance. Okay. I'm seeing like a seesaw, like a scale or a seesaw, like something's being balanced out. So this is temperance and the death card if we was doing tarot, which we will be. Um, I'm a huge transformation going on in your life. You do have Archangel Angel Michael here. So, you know, you have a lot of divine protection. A lot of you, your halo is um, becoming more... Uh, visible to you through your third eye. Um, I also feel like this is a day that your ancestors are celebrating right now. They're shouting for joy because you recognize them and they recognize you and they want you to win. Okay. So there's some balances that, you know, there's some things in your life that's going to be balanced out. If it doesn't feel like that right now, trust and know that things are going to balance out for you you have um some things that are going to be um i'm picking up somebody's getting like some type of approval thank you spirit so there's some things that's going to be approved uh for you we have fertility i told you i told you Okay, this is Empress Energy, right? This is you and your halo. All right, now let's talk about it. And your heart chakra all aligning and balancing out, okay? And so I feel like with temperance and the Empress, Empress Energy, balance and fertility, Again, there's a lot of abundance that is not only coming to you, but also coming from you. You're going to see things much clearer when it comes your way. I feel like you're going to have more courage to face the obstacle obstacles that you're going through, the transformation. Look at the green that she's wearing. So you, you're going to be more compassionate to yourself as you focus on what downloads that you get. It. Um, your halo is is definitely uh, glowing, blinging, activated. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, your third eye, your spiritual gifts, um, but it's also going to affect your physical. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have moving on. So this is you know um, the six of swords. 
I don't know why I'm picking up the Six of Cups, but this is the Six of Swords, okay? So I feel like, you know, whatever changes or transformations that are going to be happening in your life, Spirit is saying that you're going to be choosing to move forward because you're being guided and aligned with your third eye. So you are going to be able to... Uh, have that inner knowing okay yeah see told you your heart chakra which is the page of cups and the ace of pentacles so there's like this this uh this abundance that's coming in from the universe as a reward um something new okay that's coming towards you because you've been loving on yourself. You've been having compassion with yourself. Okay. And I feel like you, um, you have, you know, started to attract other like-minded people towards you. So it, it's going to be crazy at first because these are new energies that's coming in towards you. Um, you're moving on towards your destiny, your life purpose is what I'm hearing. You have other places to go, people to see. Okay, we're getting a lot of downloads today. Okay. Um, yeah, look at the Empress again. I can't make this up. Thank you, Spirit, for, you know backing me up yes okay so let's see what spirit says thank you what messages do you have please and thank you clarify spirit Ooh. oh don't start popping out all over the goddamn place all right so <laughs> on transformation we have the two of swords okay so there's some things that you're not sure about but that's what this moving on energy is the six of swords is i'm gonna go ahead and move on from whatever the fuck is you know not good for me some of you could be breaking addictions is what i'm hearing this could be a food addiction a sweet addiction a weed addiction a cigarette addiction um you're starting to think about your health more um because the universe has been uh guiding you this is also about receiving a reward i keep hearing that but um it's going to take a little time to come in continue to work on your power is what spirit is saying to me especially with um patience and planning right because you're going to see a lot of things start to grow in your life <clears throat> Okay, let's keep going with this Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords, please, and thank you. The Two of Swords requires balance. I'm not taking all that spirit. Uh -uh. Just one card, please. Clarify balance. Thank you. All right, Page of Cups came back out. All right, being compassionate to yourself during this transformation. Okay, you don't have to know everything. Pages are about planning. They're always learning. They're always trying to figure things out because it's new. Okay, so there's something new that is coming into your life to balance you out and it's there to help you grow. Okay, whether that be spiritually or physically, there's something new and you don't know what it is. Okay, I see the Ten of Wands. So this is definitely letting me know that there's an end to the suffering and um, the stress. Having a lot of responsibilities, working a lot is what I'm hearing. And you need to balance out. Okay. Okay, Spirit, clarify fertility. Thank you. It went right there. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, that's that green energy, right? You don't play when it comes with the Empress, okay? You can't just come to the Empress and, and come and say what you want to say and do what you want to do. She see you a mile away and she got a lot. So you got some kind of somebody coming in that's going to protect you. Okay. I told y'all Archangel Michael. All right, Spirit. I like how this is going. All right. We got the Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Okay. So this is definitely... Um, somebody could definitely be waiting on this uh, protection. Waiting on this 
something that you're standing for. You're waiting for it to happen, okay? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what we're going with this, but okay, Seven of Pentacles. Something about questioning something growing is what I'm hearing. And that's what this Two of Swords and the green energy in this uh, Death card, right? When is it going to grow? Is it over? Has it been done with, right? And Spirit is telling you, keep going. Keep moving. I'm guiding you. I got you. Okay. It's taking some time, but the plans that you've had with this number seven, the plans that you've had requires patience and it requires power. It requires planning. Okay. So let's go ahead and break this down. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. So transformation and the Two of Swords is something is not, you're not sure about something, right? And it, it's like, it's like something has to die in order for something to be reborn, okay? So what needs to be let go of? Thank you. A lot came out. So we have the four of coins and judgment, okay? So somebody needs to let go of control and allow yourself to go through this transformation even though you're not sure what is going on. So you might start experiencing financial issues, but Spirit is saying, have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. And I have something new coming in towards you with this page of cups, okay? We have the six of cups here, all right? So this could be someone from the past, or this could be memories from the past, okay? Um, page of cups, please. Clarify page of cups. Somebody's coming in that's coming in as a cup, but... Um, Somebody's holding tight like you're resisting this person. Why? That's why I said it could be somebody from the past. Okay. So we have the Ace of Coins and the Nine of Wands. Wow. This is your reward, right? You almost there. This is like, this is what's waiting for you. This new beginning. And you're exhausted. You're tired. And now I got to go through this transformation. Am I am I even loved by the universe? Right? That's what I'm hearing. Do you even love me anymore, spirit? Right? <laughs> Do you even love me? You want me to keep going? <laughs> oh, my goodness, collective. What's going on? Okay, the hangman, you stuck, you feel stuck, trying to figure something out. But Spirit is saying on these deck, the hangman is a rewarded sacrifice. And that's exactly what this is. When you carry these burdens, when you go the extra mile, right, for love. Okay, so some of you could be single parents because you have the page of cups here. Maybe you feel like, you know, you're stressed about money. <clears throat> and it's like you're holding tight to the little that you have to try to make everything work with the seven of wands and the nine of wands. But spirit is saying this, this, this protective, like you trying to figure it out. You're waiting for things to grow. You've been like determined to see your reward, determined to bring some type of completion Spirit is letting me know that um, there's an end to that. This is your, your completion. You're there. This is what you're getting. I don't know what's going on in your life collective that's been stressing you out with the Ten of Wands. You know, and you've been needing more financial uh, assistance with the Empress card being here. Um, I feel like you feel left alone. Like, you know... Like you never, you have, you're not satisfied, right? You've been waiting for something because you're not satisfied. Um, 
somebody could have you could have had somebody took take something from you that caused you to be you know abandoned homeless and poverty wow a lover that you trusted that you thought you had this strong spiritual connection like y'all was supposed to be together and what you didn't see was that this person wanted to be single. They wanted to go out and have fun and explore with the Page of Swords. But you overcame this, okay? You overcame this. I don't know whose message that is for, but that was very personal. And um, there's an end to that. There's an end to you having to... having to keep fighting for something like you're fighting for justice is what i'm hearing even though justice is not here the balance oh temperance being here this is justice this ain't <laughs> i'm so sorry y'all okay so this is justice okay so we have a transformation of justice bringing in some type of growth Spirit was like, she gonna get it. Just give her time. <laughs> All right. We waiting on you, honey bun. You gonna figure it out. You get in this abundance, boo-boo. Sexy, handsome. I was all slow with it. Like, what are y'all talking about, right? And Spirit was like, she gonna get it. Just give her time. <laughs> you was running the wrong way. Right. So stop that negative thinking is what spirit is telling me. A lot of you know that you have this growth coming in, that you have new beginnings coming in. Man, you're tired. Right. But this ace of coin is not easy to accomplish in life. OK, this new abundance is a huge money tree. Do you not see the money tree? Yeah. And in order to get that, you have to create that. And it takes time. OK, look at looking at how can you make this multiply? How can I take what I have and make it grow? I've been planting the seeds. I've been watering it. The grass is green. The leaves is, you know, nice and big and juicy. But, you know, and then the one that's right there in the ground, he ain't even paying attention to. He looking at the six, right? He's looking at the six, not the seventh. And then the seventh comes in. Right? Right here. Toiling and laboring. Determined, right? And spirit is like, I'm going to give this to you. Okay? So, I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of growth and abundance coming in. Um, but spirit says, don't miss this opportunity that I'm sending mm -hmm. towards you. And it's to get you out of being homeless or in poverty or struggling being alone, there could be a partner that's coming in towards you, possibly a Pisces. You may feel like you're not sure, or you might start telling yourself these negative thoughts, right? Keeping yourself stuck against this person that's new coming into your life. I'm also picking that up. But Spirit is saying that you have to see this from a different perspective. This person really likes you. They really adore you. I see the Page of Wands here with the Seven of Cups. So you might have several different partners coming in towards you. But you definitely have justice here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> If this is not a partner for love, this could be a partner for work, okay? But we have the six of coins here. I told y'all he was looking at the six of coins and not the seventh one, not this one right here. So the six of coins is a generous offer. So there's some abundance coming in, like I said, with fertility being here. And it could have been some blockages, but that's coming to an end. Spirit is saying you've been waiting a long time and you feel exhausted and tired. You feel like you can't wait anymore. What else is it I'm supposed to do? A transformation? So you holding back from this transformation because you like, I don't think I have it in me to keep going. I'm holding tight to the little that I have. What else do I need to sacrifice, right? How can how can I make this grow? Okay, and I'm going to prove it because the six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is 13 pentacles. Three plus one is the fourth pentacle. And we have judgment. Judgment is like 
getting it, like you finally figured it out or some kind of earned reward, right? You've been holding tight trying to do it. And spirit is saying, I seen your hard work. I seen your determination. Okay. I'm coming in now to help you to send help to you. I don't want you to block this. I don't, you know, I don't want you to continue to have to feel like you have to do things everything yourself you should be experiencing some type of now you have two people here with the world so this can also be a soulmate but you should be able to experience balance in your life right you cannot be an empress if you always an emperor <laughs> okay you can't it's impossible um empress have children empress have babies okay so that baby energy you have to be in that energy as well in order for you to receive the abundance in order for you to make the abundance the emperor is the one who divvies it up goes out get it stock it you know what i'm saying you can't always just be the one who's working and working and working and work. You working for other people when you ain't even got your own thing going off the ground yet. And now you get this opportunity to do so. Okay. <clears throat> it comes out twice with the Empress being here, thinking about what it is that you really want to do. You feel like it's a missed opportunity, but spirit is saying, no, I'm bringing something in towards you. Okay. Your ancestors, this is the sunflower. Sunflowers are a representation of your ancestors. So they definitely letting me know that, you know, they're, they're communicating with you. You have the knight of swords. You have the six of coins. That's the message of abundance. And then here we go. We have the death card. I can't make this up y'all. This transformation is abundance coming into your life. And spirit wants you to receive it. Okay? Spirit wants you to receive it. <clears throat> so now you have the six of coins and you have the seven of coins. Okay? You looking for the six of coins. You looking for the abundance so that the ace of coins right here... All your hard work, your determination, you're waiting for that one opportunity for everything to have residual income, a flow, okay? A flow. Hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify judgment. Knight of Cups. I told you. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I told you. <laughs> I told you. All right. I can't deny it. I'm not going to avoid it. I'm just going to tell it what it is. Okay. Clarify, please. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Right. You've been waiting. I told you. Two of Wands is planning to move forward. But it's also about waiting. Waiting to travel. Waiting to hear some messages. Waiting to get some answers. And this person is coming in towards you. Someone or something is coming in towards you to help you. To give you victory. I can't make it up. Six of Wands. Six of Coins. Okay. This abundance is going to help you be able to um experience you know joy and abundance in your life and you know the six of coins can be from a generous giver somebody that wants to help you clarify the world <clears throat> clarify the world spirit <clears throat> all of that wanted to come out all of that i'm like seriously <laughs> eight of wands six of coins i can't make it up y'all do y'all not see what the eight of wands says messages of some large amount of money coming in from somebody who could be a secret admirer or someone who has you know the likings for you they have they're smitten by you. you got the page of cups out here twice with the two of swords you don't see this person coming with the knight of swords but they're coming in very quickly you've been stressing about when you're going to hear this good news, right? Stressing out, being conflicted about what? What are you conflicted about, okay? Uh, Page of Wands is good news. Building something. Stressed out. Nine of uh, Swords, right? Worried. How can I make this happen? How can I make these things work? You know, beating your brain, trying to do it yourself. Trying to figure out a plan. And then boom. <clears throat> spirit is saying surrender go through the transformation let me send somebody to help you all you gotta do is ask <laughs> 
spirit, can you please send somebody to help me? I don't have a, I, ain't no shame in my game. Ain't no shame in my game. I'm ready for a new beginning. Are you? All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm going to pull out one more card and see what overall energy is. With all this abundance, let's talk about your money. Okay, we have creativity, isn't that? The Empress, isn't that fertility? Creativity, look at you coming back out here looking juicy. That melanin is popping, sis. Okay, personal expressions, originality, inspiration, vibrancy, imagination, per, uh, persevere, uh, perceiving the world in new ways. Okay, that's this page of cups, right? Somebody coming in to help you see things in a different way, to be more creative, to show you how special you are. Wow, if you put this and this together, it'll make it pop. It'll make it look good. This would be what the people want. You know what I'm saying? Bringing transformative ideas to life. That's this transformation. I love it. Spirit, I was going all over the place and I was scared for two seconds. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, we have the tower, feelings of sudden or jarring changes, a shakeup. This person that's coming in towards you, being that they are a soulmate, when I say the energy level, the magnetic connection, the gravitational pull between you and this person is like amazingly different than any other. Because the tower is not always, it just knocks, I'm hearing knocks me off my feet. Like you're going to be, like this person is going to be thrown back by your beauty. Some of you could be models or you should be a model or you, you've been told to be a model. Matter of fact, if you have jealous people around you all the time, especially if you like a female or a male, it don't matter. But the same sex of people certain kind of people that you just constantly get that same spirit of jealousy that's what i'm hearing spirit is telling me that is a clear sign from the universe letting you know how beautiful you look naturally like you have natural beauty because that's the empress natural look at look at the circle the circle circles her face her cheekbones her hair and then in another circle because you walk with the spirit of love l-o-v-e okay and so therefore you are attracting a soulmate that is a love partner okay with the queen of cups the page of cups the knight of cups right okay <clears throat> so this tower comes in and brings this beautiful destined path. I can't make it up. I can't make it up, spirit. I love you. Path of the soul's journey and purpose. Previously selected lessons for the soul growth to navigate in your lifetime. Everything that you've been going through with these, these nine of wands... You signed up for this before you came into this world. So when you feel stuck, when you're wondering, when is my ships coming in? Because this is like the three of wands, right? Waiting, waiting for this ace of pentacles, right? Because this ace of pentacles ain't a little bit of change. This is a whole money tree showing up in your life that you manifested. You're getting it because you know your potential now. And this person that's coming in is going to help you advance, upgrade, okay? You're getting an upgrade. That's what Spirit is telling me. I love this reading for you. Think about it. Think about all that you have done to invest into yourself. Somebody's now coming into your life to invest into you. Deuces. Bye, boo. And thank you for the comments of telling me happy birthday. I love you. Bye.